And we're learning lessons tonight from one family's tragedy in North Spokane. A cigarette butt sparked that house fire. It spread so quickly, two adults and their 17-year-old daughter could not get out in time. In a 4 News Now exclusive, Emily Bloom got a walkthrough of the house from Fire Chief Brian Schaefer. Emily, a tough scene inside and outside that house today. Nia, yeah, this entire situation just very devastating. I can tell you being inside the house today, the entire home completely charred, water still dripping from the ceilings, and from where I'm standing right now, I can still smell smoke. I, I can guarantee this family and many of us didn't expect at 2 o'clock or 2.30 in the afternoon to witness or be a part of a tragedy. The front of this house was used as a smoking room. This is where the fire started. The fire's burning outside uh, right now as we're talking. Doors closed, families in different areas. As soon as the front door opens, the fire fully engulfs the home. 17-year-old Skye Huffman was using headphones upstairs, so she was unaware of what's going on. Both parents went upstairs in an effort to get their daughter out. Two other families were in the home, but they were able to escape. The mother comes down the stairs, or what's left of the stairs, and just directly into this fireball and on the alpha side of this 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 residence. She receives uh, well over 90 percent third degree full thickness burns. The neighbors out here on the lawn were yelling at that mother, Joni Huffman, to roll, but given the traumatic situation and incredible pain, she wasn't able to. For the neighbors who were standing by, the hair on their skin started to burn because of the heat coming from this fire. Back in here, dad runs back upstairs, and that was the last time that, that he saw the first floor. He, uh, he and his daughter succumbed to the smoke and the products of combustion nearly immediately. The temperatures uh, here and upstairs are well above a thousand degrees. Chief Schaefer said it appeared they were trying to make it to the window, but they simply didn't have enough time. You can see the stairs are burned out, so there was no way for them to actually get up there to do uh, a standard or what we would consider a routine search. Chief Schaefer says it doesn't matter what part of town or what social class someone is a part of, this can happen to anyone. And there's a lesson to be learned here for all of us and we should do it tonight. We need to make sure that our smoke detectors are at least outside of all sleeping areas and on each floor. We need to make sure that if we do have um, occupancies or rooms on the second or, or subsequent floors, that those rooms have an escape ladder or an identified second way out. Now, had there been a second story escape ladder or fire alarms installed, the outcome here could have been much different. Reporting live in Spokane, Emily Bloom, 4 News Now.